if you guys, Mandy is, uh, you guys know what it is. It's, uh, uh, it's henna, henna tattoos. They're not tattoos, but I mean, maybe technically they are because they get into your skin the same way, I think. Um, they don't kill certain cells. They don't, uh, force certain bacteria to respond in certain ways, which forces them to be permanent. But I think they get into your skin uh, in a very similar fashion. And the thing is, is like in with Ismailis and Muslims in general, and like Indians and all this stuff, henna is a very common thing that people do very often, or rather just thesis. Daisies do it a lot, and now it's become popular in the States, but like, it's usually in our culture, usually only girls do henna. Guys don't do it. Um, sometimes when they're like really little, they'll try it out one time. Like their parents, will, their mom will be like, here, here, let me put henna on your hand. But that's, that's really it. The guys don't ever do henna when they're older or anything like that. And it's crazy because like, I'm so good with henna. Like I have a fucking gift, bro. Here, look, look. Like I know what the hell to do, bro. I'm better, I'm actually better than old ladies who like do crazy, crazy designs like this. They'd be super precise, by the way, because it's a cone with a pencil and it like sprays out this like, it's like frosting in the way that it is. It's like you're applying frosting to a cake and anyone who's applied frosting to a cake knows there's no erasing it. The moment it shows up on there and you have to make like very thin lines and all this stuff. So be very, very precise. So you won't find any dude's hands on here. It's, it's like a, it's a female thing generally, but there's a lot of complex designs and girls spend hours, hours doing this where like, especially if, uh, when girls get married, they do it to their whole arm. They're, yeah, they do it like this, the whole thing. This is black henna, so nobody does this. Nobody does black henna anymore. It's it's not good for your health. Like this is not, you shouldn't do that. Just a word of advice. You want henna to look, if you were to choose between it looking like this, which this looks like trash versus this, you'd rather it look like this. But ideally, this is what you want. And this is, look at all the bangles. Like she's probably getting married. Yeah, look at the dress. She's getting married. And this is like how I've never seen that before. It's super, super intricate. And I am a, I'm a beast with henna, dude. I'm incredible. Like my henna skills are next fucking level dude and you'll notice that um nobody will have the same two designs every single design is unique all of them uh they'll generally have very similar uh styles and patterns like this is a very common thing you find all across like this uh the flower petals like this and a lot of times like the more quirky oh yeah yeah so okay you will see a couple guys then i guess but a lot of times the more quirky uh people will like shift the flower petals like ooh, let's point it like that but like there's certain design principles that people will have when doing henna. Um, I don't follow any of them though. I literally used to put henna on my on my arm every year and uh, my mom saw me do it and she saw me like draw like a dragon and like a super complex flower, like a rose and like the goddamn cover for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time with like crazy pinpoint accuracy. For a few years, my mom like realized this and she, she didn't go to the old ladies. She didn't go to the aunties to, to have her Mandy done. She came to me for it. I only put like a little bit of Mandy on her every year, like only like small designs here and there. I'm sure I got, I got pictures. I'll have to look for it, but I'll, I'll show that a different day. But, um, when I was at camp, I only did like a little bit of Mandy for myself, which like the guys were allowed to do. And like a few more guys actually did do it at camp. Cause it's like, Hey, might as well, you know, got nothing else to do during this time, during this like one hour where these girls are doing this. And we had the cones for it. So, but I didn't, I didn't want to draw too much attention to myself and I didn't want people to see my arm. So what I did is I wrote ATL ho in a giant font uh, on the inside of my arm. So even though it might, I'm saying giant font, it was a giant font, but I was pretty slick at hiding it. And all the participants knew, but I was able to hide it for like two whole days uh, from the counselors just by like being confident. And the thing is, is when it shows up, when it's on your arm, uh, if you have like generally dark color skin, M Mandy, I don't know what kind of Mandy they're using here, but like it shows up really, really bright uh, or not. It shows up like really uh, contrasted uh, on, on your palms. And then it shows up like less contrasted on uh, the back of your hand. And then it shows up less contrasted on the inside of your arm and then less on the outside of your arm and then less everywhere else. So if you wanna have the best designs, you put it on your palm, but it's like classic to do it on the back of your hand. That's like where everybody does it. But if you see a picture, this is w with the Mandy still on. Look, 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 yeah, yeah, look. So this is with it dried, right? It shows up so much darker than it does over here. See that? So because my skin is darker than this, um, I was able to just walk naturally with my arms to my side and they wouldn't notice it because of my confidence, they'd be looking at my face, not my arms, not the inside of my arms. So I actually was pretty slick with it, as slick as can be pretty much. But I mean, like it only lasted two days and then they made me wrap it up. They, they were like, oh, what's what the hell is this? And by the way, henna stays in your skin for like shit, four weeks or so, depending on how much you wash it. You you can wash it as much as you want. The the smallest amount of time it will it will uh 
stay in your skin, the quickest you can get it out is like, I don't know, three weeks. That's like the earliest you can get it out, no matter how quickly you wash it. So it, it lasted for like another one to two weeks um, after I got out of camp. It doesn't matter, like you can wash, scrub, dry, you can try, oh, there's so many different methods that people have tried, uh, and it only marginally works. It will stay in your skin. I've had henna actually stay on my skin for, uh, it, like embedded deep within it for like a month and a half. So um, yeah, my dumbass didn't realize I was going back to Atlanta with ATL Ho written on my hand. I should have thought that one through a bit better. My parents found out, but uh, they didn't care. I mean, what are they, they going to do? I argue with them and I win. I justify my positions of, of why I do everything. 